tutorial, I want to show you how to very quickly make a tire using two modifiers, but we'll use two of each, so a total of four. So when you think of a tire, it's got some studs on it. So for the studs, I mean, we could have something like, there's a stud, right? There's a stud on a tire, and if we just duplicated that a bunch, it would become a tire. So when you hear duplicated, think of arrays. We can go, go out a little bit. We can add another array to make it deeper, but not in the x direction. Let's go in the y direction. And I'm just going to first apply spaces just so that we can see them. Okay. And then we just give this quite a few to make it the long way of the track. So the idea now is we're going to curve this uh, direction on the x axis uh, to make the shape of the wheel like that went from the inside axle to the outside hoop cap. And then the y direction will be the the direction at which the vehicle will be driving. And so we'll want to just curve this down and around and then curve this in a circle. So let's do that. To curve, you have your curve modifier. It requires a curve object, which has to be a Bezier curve. So I'm going to get out of edit mode here, shift A, go to curve, Bezier curve. Uh, it always it always pops out on this uh, between the uh, x and y plane relatively flat I want to work in the x z plane so go into edit mode select everything rotate it along the x axis 90 degrees now I'm in the x z plane I can look at it after I selected a numpad 1 from uh, the y direction and let's uh, turn this into a tire so if this is going to be the top I'll aim that there aim that there probably make it a lot less yeah, that, that looks good. A little bit more, maybe. Perhaps this guy should be down here. This guy here is probably going to connect to the inside axle, or close to it. And then this guy can be the outside of the tire. Maybe make him a little bit prettier. The hubcap's going to be here. Nice rounding here. Okay, that, that seems to be okay. And we'll just pump him up to some, some size. I don't know, that looks good. Maybe a little bigger. All right, so now we have our curve. We click our Bezier curve, and look at that. It wants to curve around it. That's great. I'm going to take this off real fast. One thing that we should notice, though, we're deforming along the x-axis. This works because our x starts here, and it goes that direction. So if I hid this guy for a moment, this is what we're curving right here. There we go. I do have it on the inside. If I, nah, I don't want to do that. I would much rather click this guy, go to edit mode, and I will just rotate him along any axis, 180 degrees, and get out of here, and now my studs are going in the other direction. That looks way better. Another thing that I can do for my array modifier, I can have Blender figure out how many to put in here. So I'm just going to go, instead of fixed count, fixed curve, and I'm going to select the curve that he's being duplicated along. That looks pretty good. I may want to increase his shape or, or tweak, tweak that a little bit more, but I'll wait just a little bit. So now, let's curve this whole thing in a big circle right here to form the wheel. To do that, go to curve, circle, I'm going to get him a little bit bigger. Of course, he's on the XY plane. We want to move him into the YZ plane. So R along the Y axis, 90 degrees. Now we're playing there. Wonderful. And that doesn't look too bad. So clicking this guy, I'm going to show the rest of that. Uh, there we go. I need him to be mapped and curved around there. So I'm going to add another modifier, go to Curve, select my circle. Boom. Whoa, that was not expected, right? Well, it might actually be expected because the default deform axis is X. We used that once for the previous, OK? To curve it from the material, I'm going to hide that for a second. Hide, <laughs> hide this for a second, there we go. We curved using the x-axis. Well, we want to use the y-axis now, but not necessarily the y-axis, because once, this looks good, but once these are applied in the order that they're applied, 
this guy's applied, we're now dealing with, look at this, it flipped it. It's on the negative y-axis, okay? This positive shooting out that way. This is the negative x, negative y-axis. So switch this to negative y. And maybe if I showed it, ah, pff, magic, right? And, and feel free to play with that, you know? If you just did y, that looks odd, right? It should look odd because that's from the y-positive direction. Z, who knows what's going on there? So just know that if you look at it and your material is starting at zero and going along the negative y-axis, use the negative y. There we go. And that's looking pretty nice. But tires don't really work like that. We could probably tweak and change this up a little bit. Uh, definitely no holes in them. So let's do this. I'm going to... Oh, these right here. Uh, if you go to edit mode, see? Look at that. That's so pretty. It took me back to my original object. If you had this guy, it would show up in the edit mode. So you could edit it right here and you could see what effect it would have on the rest of it. But I kind of just want to work in perhaps just this plane right here. So I'm going to hit uh, period, focus on him. Let's start working. I think, I think that this probably should shoot out a little bit. Something like that, so that there's a break between. And maybe this guy has just some odd shape to it, something other than what it normally has. Right there. Ah, I think that's kind of nice. All right, cool. And so if that's going to be my shape, what do we, whoa, ho, ho, things are looking rough. Because remember, we allowed the array to figure out how long he wanted to be using one of the methods we use a count for the other, so we have a lot of overlap here. So let's work with the first one first. And I kind of want to do one more thing. Ooh, let's hide the rest real fast. Look at that. Wouldn't that be fun? I think we should do this. So with the X, I will keep him at zero separation between him and his buddies with the x direction, but the y direction, I'll tweak him slightly. So let's see what effect that has if I show the other guy. Eh, it looks like we've round robined once or twice, so let's let's remove this. Ah, yeah, that, that should be good. And now, let's shift until things are looking kind of nice. I'm going to hold down shift when I grab this variable, and there, that's looking pretty good. And now I can increase his count till he goes all the way around. Oh, overlapped. Uh, I'll put them there. And now I'll grab the circle, the Bezier circle, and I'll just increase the size slightly. Hold shift to get that final little connection. And look at that. That's looking pretty cool. I like it. So I would say, let's call this a day. Let's say that this is our tire. And we can be done with this. And we can take it to the next phase, which is material processing. So what I'm going to do and what you should probably do is make a duplicate of your wheel before you apply your modifiers because if you ever wanted to go back and tweak something real fast you'll have it and then just come in here and apply them in the order that they are existing in the uh, the modifier tree here so starting with our very very top array apply 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 now if you go to edit mode you'll see that they are individual vertices that you can toggle and work with all around this tire it's no longer a one single block and that's what we want and there you have it guys i sincerely hope you enjoyed this let me know in the comments if you like this format one thing that i could do i could reproduce the this tutorial or perhaps make a similar one but gear it more towards uh, beginners or I could make one that's more towards uh, the intermediate, where we will spend much more time getting it to uh, match some reference image. Uh, let me know what you think, and thank you all.